Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for those that are new here, hello, my name is Alicia. So I thought that today I would bring you along and show you how we feed all of our calves. And after we feed the calves, we're going to let them all out in the paddock because Jaden just finished making their paddock yesterday. So definitely wait till the end because that is going to be probably my favourite part about calf rearing, watching them all go out into the paddock for the first time. It is so cute. So yes, we're still mixing up the powder in the laundry. We want to convert one end of the shed to like where all the milk powder is stored and the vat and everything. So eventually we would be mixing up in there, but this year we are still in the laundry. So we've got 44 calves out there and we worked it out that we need about 11 and a half kilos of milk powder and then 120 liters of water. So we use this buggy out here, it just makes it easier to lug the milk around. They actually discontinued this now, it's a milk bar milk cart. So we pretty much just put some hot water in, tip that bucket of powder in, mix it, and then we get five more buckets of hot water and put it in here. Normally the hot will come up to about here and then we fill it up. Um, the rest of it with the cold water but we do feed our calves the milk quite hot like people are quite surprised how hot we feed it but you would rather feed your calves hot milk than cold milk because you want them to use their energy to grow rather than trying to keep warm and warm up that milk when they're digesting it People have asked what kind of milk powder we're using this year and we like to use Naiwi, got it from Farm Source and I think it's about maybe, it's probably just under $100 a bag. We did actually start the season off with Milligans and I don't like to talk a product down or anything but I have never had so much bloat in my calves, like every feed there'd be calves that were bloated and didn't feed and as soon as we switched back to Naiwi they were fine. Um, another thing with the Naiwi is it mixes really well. We also noticed with Milligans that there was lots of like thick sediment at the end. See, look at this thing. It's a thing in action. <laughs> So we like to use these stallion feeders. I have done so many videos on the feeder setup that we use, but we like to use compartment feeders just so we know that everyone's getting the exact two and a half liters and who's like a slower drinker. And the teats that we use are the big softy teats from XL, which is from Shoof. So you can see this one here is a super fast drinker. So obviously you do need to come in here and push the ones off that are not on the right teat. You've got to make sure you're in here and making sure that each calf gets to finish its entire feed. You'll probably notice that some of the, oh they're pretty much done now anyway. You'll probably notice that some of the calves have collars on. Like that one has a blue collar and I think in this pen they have collars. In the past we used to use spray paint but our calves ended up looking like rainbows. So this year we decided to use those collars and they've been working great. So if a calf didn't feed one night or something's wrong with it, I'll put a collar on. I did actually used to tag all the calves from like numbers one to however many calves I had. But then I found every time you tag the air, I mean it just could rip out or get infected and it's just an extra cost. So. I do recommend these um, Velcro bands and you just get them from Farmlands or Farm Source or wherever. And I'm lucky that I have Jade in here most mornings, helping, makes it definitely a lot easier. These calves are smart and they keep getting this latch off and they've got out a few times so we had to put this tie around 
but these ones and these ones are the older ones and then these and these are the younger ones this has been the sick pen this calf's probably been the sickest one that we've had just like on and off milk that's why we just got to keep sure keep sure so we're going to make sure that he has his whole feed so oh he needs a top up oh topped his up so yeah we're just going to make sure that he has his feed and that's another reason why i like to have the compartment feeders because if you just have the feeder with one compartment you just really have no idea how much they're getting so here's an example of one that's a bit sick this um speckle park's been a bit up and down since we've got him as well They've both, well, this whole pen has had, um, what's it called, crypto and rotavirus. So you can see that he's not that keen. He did feed last night, so so long as he gets one full milk feed a day, I'm not that worried. So you can see that he's barely had his feed. But I won't put a collar on him because I know who he is. But yeah, you can see that he's... Still on and off his milk. That's actually going to be my next video though, all about calf scours, crypto and roto especially because those are the two that we deal with every year. Like tell you about the sick calves and how we treat them and what we do. But yeah, this is the last pen that needs to recover from the bug. Everyone else has recovered. They normally recover in about 7 to 10 days. So these are coming up around that. Um, but you're always going to have the odd calf that just struggles a bit um it just takes a bit more for them to get over it maybe it didn't have enough colostrum at birth i mean that speckle park is quite a small calf but logan chose it at the sale yard so you can't mess with a four-year-old what he wants and that is pretty much all the cars fed so now we just go and wash everything we wash our feeders and everything every time we feed the calves it just helps eliminate the bugs and things so these guys are almost done oh they are done so that is that but yeah you can see him you can already see the signs that he ain't feeling too flash so we feed the calves twice a day for the first roughly three weeks and they get two and a half liters each feed and then we move them on to once a day where they get three liters but then obviously the what's it called the concentration of milk powder is a lot more so they get more milk powder and less water but then it just makes them more hungry in the afternoon to start eating meal and hay to develop their rumen so then we can wean them off milk a lot quicker but first things first gotta go wash the stuff and then i will show you the calves the first time they get to see grass it is a bit later this year some of them are like probably a month old and I do like to let them out a lot sooner, especially because they've had some bugs. But we just hadn't had the paddock built yet. But now it's built, so I will show you very soon. Kids woke up. So we just had to get them organised. Hey, and they wanted to both come and see what the calves look like when they come out. Come on, you're going to come watch the calves? Want to hold hands? Want to hold hands? Yeah? Ready to see the calves go out? Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, Jaden's going to open the door. And yes, this is probably going to turn into an absolute mud hole, even though the grass is just starting to grow. But how well, we've got all this grass for them. and they will probably bash into that fence. <laughs> Look at the crazy things. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Look at everyone. 
tails in the air. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here they all are. I was wondering where they went. Oh gosh, I should move that. It's like a stampede. <laughs> Where are they? Oh, look at these guys. Yeehaw! People probably think her calves are on something else. <laughs> they literally are all doing that loop. They like race along here, up the side. They'll all run up there and then they turn around and then all zoom back this way. Alright, they're all over there and you watch them all come running back. Logan said he's missing out on the fun and he wants to come have a look. I don't want those tubs. Oh, Alright. Okay, go have a look at the calves. Haven't even let these guys out yet. Well. <laughs> oh man. I know. I don't think, oh look, they're going back up that area again. Now look, they straight back. Oh yeah, I know, that's all right. Woohoo! And we'll let these guys out. So these are the sticky pen, but all the cards have had what they've had. So that's why they can get mixed. So it's gonna let all these guys out. There's that sticky speckle park. Oh yeah, what's their, what's their names? Yeah, Whitey Bird and Cloudy are the speckle parks. This is like crazy calf fill. <laughs> Come on, sugars! Oh, they're still doing their rounds. <laughs> Back up there they go. And now we're letting another 24 out. Is Graham going to come out? <laughs> Where's Graham? Graham's the share lay. Oh, there he is. Hey, Bubbies. Oh, Graham's come out. <laughs> the neighbours, I just keep thinking the neighbours are probably like, what the hell? <laughs> See, isn't this cute? Oh, banging into the fence. Hey, that's one thing I will say, you gotta make sure. See, we've got netting. You gotta make sure you have a decent fence. Cause calves, oh, bashing into each other. Calves don't know what fencing is. Look at this, this is like carnage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Looking crazies. Oh, there's Graham. <laughs> Has Whitey Bird come out yet? No. What, why not? There she is. There she is. Doesn't she want to come out? She's probably wondering, oh there's Cloudy, Cloudy's running around. Oh my gosh, watch out for Archie, Stampede. 
<laughs> he doesn't care. Hey, Hachu, look at all the cows. Watch out, they'll run into them. So they'll probably do this for like half an hour and then they will calm down. But every time you first let calves out in the paddock, this is what will happen. So you can imagine, if you don't have good fencing, they literally will just bash into it because they have no idea like what fencing is. So we in the past have actually tried like a white tape or a couple of white tapes and it does not work. As you can see how crazy they are. Oh. 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 What? Where's my other car? Look, look, she, look at her. Woohoo! She's racing. She's swimming. Look at them all, they're going crazy. Mm. <laughs> Skippadeening, are they? Yeah, that means that they're happy. They are happy, I think. <laughs> Watch out! The stampede's coming back. <laughs> oh, shit. Video there. I hope you guys all enjoyed it and got to see what it's like when you first let your calves out of the paddock because it is sure is crazy. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh, do you want to say bye, everyone? Bye. So thanks for watching. Well, they're just skibbadeening.